I'm going to make a rhubarb crumble. So I'm going to take some rhubarb. I never was a fan of rhubarb in the past, but my niece made this not long ago and I was like, wow. And to use our rhubarb in the garden because I was like, listen, we never use it anyway. But now <laughs> it will definitely be used. And I'm gonna mix some other things into it. I absolutely love these leaves. They're just stunning. So I'm just going to wash these. And then I'm going to cut them. I did look at a video just to be sure. I mean, they didn't say anything about peeling the rhubarb, so I will not do that. Well, I guess it's supposed to be like that, right? I realized that putting the tripod on the table is not a good idea because the camera is like shaking like crazy. It's also actually pretty late. Might be a stupid time to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. I wonder if I should have peeled this, but I really do not know. I'm not supposed to. Oh. I also think that it's actually time for the rhubarb to be used. And I think I'm going to see if I can find some apple. Maybe I have frozen strawberries that I can put in it too. I only have frozen strawberries, so I guess that is what we use. I can't believe that I didn't realize that rhubarb and a rhubarb crumble is so delicious but there you go you learn something all the time and you can make the crumble with different things i actually wonder if you can make it with pumpkin has anyone tried that maybe we should try it try that because i actually did plant pumpkins in the garden so maybe hopefully they are ready in October. All right, so I'm taking the fruit in here. We're putting 100 grams of sugar over. And we're just tossing it around a bit. It looks beautiful. All right. We are ready with all the ingredients that we need for the crumble. So first of all, we have 100 grams of, wow, what do you call that? <laughs> oh, I totally lost that one. Anyway, 100 grams of sugar, 35 grams of oatmeal, two, teaspoons of vanilla and then we have 125 grams of cold butter I'm going to wash my hands and then crumble it I actually did see another recipe where they put salt in it so I'm actually going to take 
half a teaspoon of salt. And then we are, oh God, mixing it all together. Yes, we are. It smells so good. The butter was frozen when I took it, so it is a little bit hard. I did put it in the microwave, but it's still a little bit hard. Oh, well, this is actually very fun. I could probably have taken the machine, but nah. My niece did it by hand, so I also <laughs> do it by hand. But it looks right. I am so excited about this. There is some clumps in it, but I don't want to work it too much. I have two of these because I don't know how much we have. I'm going to have left. And I'm going to do it the same way that my niece did it. So I'm gonna just put this down. I don't think I need to put something on there. Yeah, I'm please not going to do that. Oh, it might actually be. Well, now that I have a dilemma, you know what? It can be here. Come on. Wow, I'm very excited about this. You know what? There's so much sugar in, in it. I don't think I need to take the rest of that. All right, people. <laughs> Look at this. And then we're just going to put the crumbles over. I feel like it's already melting. Gosh, it smells good. It smells so good. Look at me being a housewife. So I preheated the oven. I am going to translate the recipe that I found online just to follow instructions a little bit better. I can't believe that it's the first time that I use our garden rhubarb. Well, now I can't even remember what the name of that is. What the hell is happening? Okay, people, now I am going to put it in the oven and I'm going to check for how long. My niece had it in the oven for one and a half hour, I think. So let's see. Ooh. I mean, the recipe that I just found actually said 20 minutes, but I don't feel that's going to be enough. So I'll let you guys know. I think I might just put it to one hour because again, my leaf put it to one hour and then we will see. See you guys later. Oh my God. It's and voila. Oh my God. It smells delicious and it looks delicious. All right, I am ready. <laughs> Put some on the plate. How freaking perfect is this? I am very proud. <laughs> I am also going to put creme fresh on it. Just got that with my knees and that was so delicious. I can do that. And I have sexy way. Woo! I forgot to play. Start. Well, one more with you guys. It's hot. Mm. It is the perfect combination. Wow. This is so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that juicy juice juice. <laughs>